Formula One is back here on Fog Wrestling. I'm feeling under the weather, man. I can barely open my eyes, so we may as well talk about it. Talk about it. And we've got Ferrari on top. Gallus boys on top. So Ferrari 1 and 2. We've got Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz there. Can, I think this track will suit Ferrari. I thought it would suit Aston Martin, but Alonso in 8th doesn't really tell you that story. It kind of looks like you've got Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes. I think McLaren will be good. I don't know why Oscar Piastri's still in 19th, but at the end of the day, I think they'll still be good because Norris is up there. Anyway, so if you look at it, it's like four tenths between the top uh, seven. Alonso is a wee bit further back. Maybe Aston Martin haven't shown what they can do. But if you look at Alonso is six tenths clear of Stroll. I mean, so that, that tells me that the Aston Martin pace probably could be around there because that is about what he has been all season. Then we've got the likes of Gasly. I thought Alpine would be a bit better here, but they're not. Um, Williams, I didn't expect them to go well either. So 13th and 20th for them. I mean, it's just the usual customers down at the bottom. McLaren have brought a shit ton of upgrades. So I kind of thought they might have been like fastest. I mean, Red Bull right behind Ferrari, but I think Leclerc... And signs, look, signs been really good for him. Claire loves, you know, flinging his car in a fucking street circuit and qualifying. So I think Ferrari will. I think, I think there's potential for Ferrari to get a one two, and I think that's obviously best case scenario. We don't want Red Bull winning every race. I mean, I think if we got to the last race, it would be a cool feat. I'm not denying that, but we want to see a team take it to Red Bull. And you know what? Ferrari had the best attempt last week, uh, two weeks ago. Sorry, um, probably up there with Alonso and Max and Monaco. Uh, I really like that one. Uh, I mean, Al Alonso in Sanford and Monaco, I know he never really overtook them, but he kept Red Bull on their toes, so to speak, more than any other weekend for me. But anyway, guys, that is this FP1 review. We'll be back very soon with FP2. There was a lizard on the track. There was everything. But until then, peace.